direction because I always, I always was very involved with the embryonic stem cell research, but I never really was able to get out and about people to work to, re to getting to the next level in the recovery, but it's, unfortunately, it's not enough. There's a major piece of the puzzle that's missing, and that's embryonic stem cell research. People that I hope will vote for me next Tuesday. And they were streaming through, shaking my hand, saying hello, saying nice things. Michael J. Fox. extremely moving, no pun intended, to be here today at the chapter of the National Institutes of Health, the jewel in the crown of our medical research enterprise, and directly across from the National Naval Medical Center. It's so secret, I'm a vocal advocate for medical research. I'm confident that stem cell research can improve the lives of millions of people living with diseases and disorders, including cancer, diabetes, spinal cord injury, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, and even Parkinson's disease. We welcome in so many cities across the country. I can only believe it is a sign of the mass support there is for advancing science. And then uh, President Bush, with his veto of HR 810 and his his limitations that he set throughout the course of his presidency, and Michael Steele's support of that veto, are an attempt to stall the most promising researchers' hope for cures. Forgive me, but it's time to get back to the future. Yeah.